In this video, we are going to discuss value classes and universal traits, a very important concept. So, at first we are going to discuss the value classes. What are the restrictions, do's and don'ts in value classes? We are explaining that one into details. Value classes are new mechanism in Scala to avoid allocating runtime objects. So, it contains a primary constructor with exactly one val parameter. So, it will be having the primary constructor with exactly one val parameter. It contains only methods that is def, not allowed var, val, nested classes, traits or objects defined within. Value class cannot be extended by another class. So, that is another restrictions and this can be possible by extending your value class with any value. So, the type safety of custom data types without the runtime overhead. So, these are the respective do's and don'ts of the value class. Let us take an example of value class weight, height, email, age, etc. For all these examples, it is not required to allocate memory in the application. A value class not allowed to extend any traits. So, value classes are not allowed to extend any traits. To permit value class to extend trait, universal traits are introduced which extends for any. So, those traits which will be extending for any will be known as the universal traits and these universal traits can be extended from the value class. So, let me go for one sample coding for the better understanding and there will be showing you the code, we will be explaining line by line, we shall give you the explanation and also we will be running the code to get the output and for the further clarity. So, here is the demonstration for you. A value class not allowed to extend traits. To permit value classes to extend traits, universal traits are introduced which extends for any. So, here we are having one universal trait and this universal trait is extending any. And there is a respective body, it is having only one function that is print which takes nothing as input and which returns void and here we are having only one line is here as its body is a println this means the current object will get printed. This is our value class. The name of the value class is given as wrapper. It cannot extend any trait. So, that is why it is extending in this way that is extends any val with printable and here this printable is nothing but one universal trait. So, now here we are having the main function. We have defined this class object let it be w and when you are executing this print method from this object w we are getting the respective object printed. So, you can find here the output is coming like this. So, here in this print we are having this respective code that is print ln this. So, it is printing wrapper at the rate of 3. We are passing here 3 here and this wrapper object has been defined and that is our w and this w is getting printed through this this. So, this means the current object will get printed. So, here is the output we have explained this program line by line and here we have got one lesson that a value class is will not be allowed to extend any kind of trait to permit one value class to extend any trait then universal traits are to be introduced which will be extending for any. Thanks for watching this video.